is an advanced Linux security distribution that makes your PC super intelligent hacking tool. So if you're interested in computer security and hacking, I suggest that you should learn Backtrack. Like all the Linux distributions, Backtrack have the same commands and that commands are very easy to learn. This is an important and very interesting subject. As a beginner, I suggest that you should install this OS in virtual machine. After you are comfortable with the operating system, you can jump into the real game. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up Backtrack in your virtual machine. <coughs> First of all, we need to download the Backtrack. So, to download it, go simple do Google search. Backtrack. So, this is the website backtrack linuxorg So, you can jump into the downloads. And you can do the registration and start download. They will send you the latest release and these details. I already done this, so I'm gonna skip to the download. <coughs> Here is the important thing when you're downloading, select the release 3. Yeah, and the window manager is genome architecture. I suggest use 32 bit because the 64 bit do not support mostly in virtual machines. So it's better if you choose that to be an image type uh, if you're using Oracle I suggest you download ISO but if you use using VMware you can download ISO or VMware VMware is already set up the set up virtual machine so you don't need to set up it again just straight away and but only thing is VMware is paid so I had Oracle virtual box so I download the ISO version and download type direct or torrent it's up to you okay and um, let me show you how to download the virtual box go to google.com and oracle virtual box here we go <coughs> go to downloads and you can see here virtual box 4.2.6 for windows so just download this one and install it it's like easy to set up and once you set up you can see your virtual box here you go so let's start new machine go to machine new or oh, you have to give the name so i give it Type is Linux. If you're not sure about the OS or anything, just put other version, just put other unknown and click next. I recommend you should leave one point five big RAM. Yeah, roughly. And the hard drive create virtual hard drive now this is very simple to set it up click next click next and make it around 15 GB hard drive this should be enough ok here we go our second one so important thing the image you download you need to mount it to the virtual machine because the virtual machine itself doesn't have any operating system at the moment so we need to install the operating system so what we gonna do go to machine go to settings here you can see all the components in the machine so you go to storage and here you can select the CD drive and from here you're gonna mount wherever you save your I saved it in my download so just 
mount from there wherever you download it it's just simple and once you it will show you the information image if you're not sure if you, did you mount it correctly just check it it shows image size and location and click ok and let's start the virtual machine as I said the black track is very easy to learn only thing you need to learn need to learn the commands otherwise it's going to be blinking cursor in the black screen but the good thing is in backtrack is have a GUI interface but all the components like the hacking tools you have run it from the terminal so it will take some time to load let me do full screen this yes ok here we go so do not show this message again so just select press tab and press enter we start to install yeah here we go it's just simple try five nice screen it's look very posh look very interesting so you are going to become a hacker now so be focused on the tutorials i gonna release more tutorials in next few days so this is going to be my first tutorial so from next one we're gonna start to figure out what are the components in the backtrack and slowly slowly we're gonna step into the hacking world so this okay. so as I said try to do some online search as well because it's very helpful for you to learn the backtrack so it will take some time yeah there we go okay so you default you are in the root now the backtrack live cd seems working now so start the gui interface if you're not familiar with the kernel uh, the terminal uh, you can start the gui interface to start that press start x there we go working so this is the backtrack interface so you can use the terminal as I said this is the live CD so that's how it shows the man I can call install backtrack so you just you can simply click this one and follow a few steps and you can install it meanwhile I show you the So you got a lot of options in here like um, yeah these are the compounds for forensics stress testing there's a lot of uh, tools in here we're gonna go step by step in each of one of two in next tutorials so end of the day you're gonna be a very expert in backtrack I hope we you're not gonna be harm to the computer well the purpose of teaching this tutorial not to make you a hacker to make your system more secure so to install backtrack just simply double click the icon it's first time that's why it's take each time nice. Yeah, here we go.
yeah this is just a simple installer anyone can install it so just select your language time zone keyboard layout you can check your keyboard layout yeah. is it working properly it's not that important anyway so this is just a beginning step so we got more advanced things to do in the next tutorials this is just how to set up the backtrack and there's another thing okay let me finish this one and i'm gonna tell you that one so just select an erase and use entire hard disk because you don't have any operating system at the moment in the virtual machine so it just if you doing it to your actual hardware i prefer you specify partitions manually and it's not that hard but it's better you keep your windows and backtrack because i i found out being windows is easy to browse the internet and listen to see these things because I don't want to go to terminal and watch my movie. So start to use backtrack and windows parallelly. So you will you will love it. Anyway. So just click forward. and it will show you all the details here once you accept this one you can install it so i already have the virtual machine that set up the backtrack so i'm not gonna waste my time again to install so i just gonna quit but for you you need to press the install so once you press the install it will start the install automatically and once it finishes it will ask you to reboot so you reboot your virtual machine then what you need to do you have to unmount this is very important listen you have to unmount the cd rom from the iso because otherwise your machine gonna again start to boot from the iso live cd so, so to prevent that one now you need to boot from your hard drive so to prevent this one you need to unmount the iso to do this like simply follow the steps like before you go to the settings and unmount your CD drive. So thank you for watching the video.